everybody welcome into rock painting 101 uh, today I am in the mood to do some flowers on a rock and I wanted to use up this giant rock so I kind of want to do a tree of flowers so I'm just putting down some basic branch shapes just so it is a tree when it's all said and done. The way I like to draw trees, I like to start at the end of my branch where I want it to be and pull back down to the trunk whenever you hit a second branch. You go next to that line so that when you come down, slowly your base trunk will get larger. And that's really how a tree kind of forms. The branches come off of branches. So see when you get to that one, then that branch will automatically get a little thicker. Um, the more little branches that come off of a branch, the thicker that branch would be. So I'm just going to get a very basic tree shape going here. And then we're going to fill it in with some fun flowers. This is going to be more of a graphic, not a realistic looking tree. It's just going to be a fun rock design. So we've got our basic tree trunk shape going here. Now I've got lots of different colors over here off to the side. You can definitely make your flowers um, with uh, acrylic paints or whatever you happen to have. Um, I'm just gonna use my pens because I'll dry nice and fast. However, when it comes to doing the lining we're gonna do, um, I do suggest having either a 1M Posca pen or uh, Micron PN style pen or some sort of liner because um, we are gonna do uh, some fine lines on here that I think will be difficult to do um, if you're trying to do it with a brush unless you're really great at working with a brush which some of you may be so I'm just gonna start with a few uh, different flower designs I actually grabbed my purple I meant to grab my yellow I've got two different shades of yellow here I'm not sure which one I want to use specifically but I'm gonna just start by adding centers to some of my flowers I'm gonna do a lot of different flower designs and shapes here but some of them I want to have centers. Some of them will not, but I'm just gonna start by placing down some of that yellow. And then I'm gonna place down this pale, I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference. Oh yeah, you can. Just to mix it up a little bit. And you want the flowers to go out past the edges of your tree. Like I said, this is gonna be more of a graphic style tree of flowers. If a tree of flowers existed like this, I'd be very happy, but I don't think that they do. I also want to put down some areas for leaves um, just because I want the flowers on top of those. So I'm just going to go in here and add a few like vine style areas of leaves. Like they might all be coming from the same area just to kind of help fill up some space. You can always add more later. And again, we're gonna add a lining to a lot of this stuff. I just like to have some things that sink behind when I'm doing rocks like this. All right, let's start adding some flowers. So I'm gonna start by doing some basic petals on some of these so on this one I'm going to go with more of a daisy style where the petals are long and skinny and I always pull out my petals across from each other and then left to right and then fill in in between your spaces just helps you get them spaced out well Got that one up there. We'll do one all the way across on the other side of the same style. Okay, so we're gonna switch to a different color. Got this pale purple. Uh, I'm gonna go in and do kind of a short stubbier style petal with this one. Uh, we're going to just go one petal at a time around the base of this one. Again, I'm gonna add lines after the fact. to give these some more detail. So this one, I'm gonna do the same thing, just a little bit smaller. 
And let's see here. Let's go with this more pale pink. And for this one, I'm going to just do a circle. I want this to be two-toned. So actually, I'm going to come in with my more of this coral color. And I'm just going to do a circle around my dot. And I'm going to do this flower on, just a circle around the dot. I like to do things in threes, can you tell? There we go. And then we're going to come in and do these tiny little petals on the outside of that. And so many of these will look different once they've got lines on them. Be more like a coloring book style to it. It's okay, cover up those leaves. They'll be popping out from underneath. Kind of gives you some layers. And then I've also got this darker purple. Let's see here. And this one's a 1M, so I can get some finer lines with this one. So I've got three dots left. Look at that, I even put the dots down in, the, in a good pattern. So let's go with maybe some further spaced petals. Um, we all, hmm, let's see here, maybe just kind of a fluffy looking flower. Something like that. We'll fill those in. And now that you've got your big flowers in, we can go around and add just little itty bitty remnants of flowers here and there um, to kind of fill in the gaps of the tree. They could be ones that are all the way in the distance, kind of on the back side of the tree. And you can go in and add some extra leaves. I didn't do any of this color before, so I'm gonna add some leaves on some of these. Um, you can add some leaves on some of your bigger ones if you want to. And you can even add little pulls of color. Just try to keep the similar flowers similar. They can be all different styles and shapes, but you want the ones that match to kind of have a similar look to them. So I'm just going to add a couple more little flower pieces here and there until I like the look of it and out there I'm just gonna do circles here cuz I can add a swirl in that and do one right here that okay now you can always go back and add more as you're going along um, I'm going to add a few blades of grass down here at the bottom of my tree just to have a little texture at the bottom when we're all said and done. Do the darker green too. Just like that. Okay, now I talked earlier that I was going to do some lining. Now I've got, this is my uh, Micron PN pen. It's got a nice fine tip to it. Uh, you sometimes have to do more than one line if you want it to be really dark black. Uh, for what I'm doing, this is going to work out great. If you don't have that, if you have a fresh Micron, um, I'm sorry, Posca 1M pen, you can get pretty fine lines with that as well. It's just a little bit more wet, so you just gotta be very careful to have a nice slow pace with this. So I'm gonna outline just a couple of these flowers, and obviously I'm gonna speed up some of this again um, so you don't have to watch me draw the outlines on all the flowers. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of work on my trunk a little bit as well. So in a couple areas, you can do a couple little spirals. Very loose, let the bumps of the rock kind of make bumps in your lines. Uh, that's what a trunk would kind of look like. And then I'm just going to do some um, vertical lines along the trunk here, like so. Watch out for those eyes. 
leaves out to the branches. And if you let the kind of lumps and bumps of the rock bump your pen on this part, because I'm using a really light touch, it will kind of give that bark look to it because bark is never going to have those super straight lines. We will do nice lines on the outside edge, but as far as giving it texture, we don't care that they're like lumpy and bumpy. Okay, so next we're going to go in and work on our flowers. So I'm just going to take and outline the center of the flower first, and then on this one we're just going to do the petals one at a time. and let it sneak behind that other flower. Just go around the pieces that you can. Okay, just like that. We're gonna leave those pretty simple. I like those daisy style look to it. Now the center, you can do something fun with the center. Um, like you could do a little spiral into the center like that and it looks very cute. Okay, and then these little guys out here that we have kind of floating these little purples, I'm just going to do little X's in the center of those. Now, these guys that are a little bit bigger, I'm going to do my petal here. Kind of outline the edge. We're not going to take these all the way to the center. For that one, I am going to just do some lines out from the middle, but not all the way to the edge. So kind of make it look like the center is a sun. See that, it's kind of darker. So it's like a sun center. Okay, this one we've got a few layers. So we're gonna go ahead and do a circle around both of those layers. And then we're gonna do petals. There we go. And then on those petals, I'm gonna do some lines in them, just to give them a little bit more flare. I'm gonna do two in each. Okay. Every once in a while, doodle off the tip of your pen. Um, you might pick up just a little bit of paint as you're working your way uh, through this rock. So we're going to go ahead and do this last style here. I'm going to do the full petals on these. Make your way around. Okay, so we've got our full petals. This one's got a little bump in them. Okay, and then let's just do like a, almost like a hashtag in the center of that flower. Okay, and then we've got this little guy over here. Just gonna go like that. And these little guys here, they're like little X's. Just put an X in the center of that. I think I've gotten one of everything here. So for this, I'm just gonna actually pull this onto the bark and add these little leaves to that little straight line. I think I've gotten one of everything. So I'm just gonna continue this along. I am going to outline the actual tree as well, um, the actual branches. I did that nice texture to give the tree texture but we're gonna go along the edge and give it an outline as well. Now, I'm working on a, on a rougher rock. I don't always have super smooth rocks, but I'll paint on anything. Uh, so when you're working on a rougher rock, just take your time. Uh, when you're laying down your outlines, kinda, sometimes you have to use more of a sketching type motion, which I don't mind, especially that's why I do these kind of styles on these rocks because having that little kind of little bumps and sketch lines on them, they look okay. 
that's kind of the style I'm going for. So I'm gonna continue lining this rock and we'll check back in a minute. Okay, I'm just finishing up my last outlines of the trunk there. I think, oh yes, I did. Now if you mess up, like I didn't like the spiral that ended up in this one. I've got a funny bump in my rock right there. So I covered it back up. I'm gonna give it a second go here. Another layer of paint can make it a little bit smoother. But I'm going to call this one done. Isn't it beautiful? It's such a fun rock. I love this design. It's such a fun idea. And it will never, you will never do two exactly alike. Uh, you can create any kind of flowers you want to put into uh, your flower tree and it will be beautiful. So I hope you give this design a try. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit like on the video, all that amazing stuff. We're trying to post more, more videos here on uh, YouTube lately, so you'll want to stay tuned for more. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.